Hey everybody, welcome to Absolutely. That's Sal. I'm Andy. Today we are talking about Alien Romulus. Alien Romulus? Oh, aliens Romulus? No, it's alien. It is alien. alien. Rom- okay, okay. Yeah. He, I, whenever I say it out loud, I always flip flop back and forth. So you know, it's interesting. They've they have never co opted the alien alien name. It's true. Yeah. Except for I think aliens versus predator. I think it's aliens versus predator. The movie, which one makes sense because there is multiple aliens. There are more than yeah, one aliens. Yeah. yeah. Imagine if they just called it Alien Two, right? Oh, they would not. It doesn't roll. It doesn't roll off the tongue. No, that's why they did so. That's how they yeah, did it. Yeah. James Cameron in that in that famous meeting. <laughs> like, aliens. Here's with my the presentation. Of dollar sign. <laughs> Yeah, and making a dollar sign. <laughs> That's how they should have named the movie. Just put the dollar sign Aliens. on there. Aliens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, all right. Alien Romulus. We saw it. We saw it. Sal, what is your quick hot take? Quick, quick non-spoiler uh, take on this movie is that the first hour, and I want to say like 10 minutes, are really, really cool. I, I was pulled in immediately, uh, even... Despite the references, there, the movie is there's a lot of references. There's a lot of um, references. Yes, I I'm, and again, I don't want to spoil them right away, but I, I will say that you know it, it has it had the potential. Is is on the razor's edge, you know, where there was some new stuff in there, mm-hmm. a lot of new stuff, new characters, new premise, and that's the, something I've been asking for forever. All I want is for them to just make a really cool, quick and dirty alien movie, new characters, and just be like they're doing this thing, and then an alien murders most of them. You know, that's that's what I want. Uh, and for the first hour and so uh, and and change, I got it, and yeah. and it took a turn, and <laughs> and and the turn <laughs> and the turn <laughs> lost me, and then it kept losing me, like it lost me where I went, uh, like okay, and then <laughs> the image of you sighing out loud in the theater, <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. No, I was like, uh, <laughs> like it was just a, a full body sigh, and then just all right, movie, what are you gonna do with this? And then I and then I see what they're doing with it. I'm like, sure. oh god pass and, uh, <laughs> and then it ended and i was like damn it because i loved you know like the set design the world building the the colony the built like you, the, all the vehicles even the characters although i will say i don't know about you but there were a couple of characters i was like we don't need them or once they fell down i'm like yes and then they no. died i'm like no this lead uh, 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 before i get into my hot take and then we'll get into like spoilers and crap. Yeah, yeah uh this leaned very much into and I think it's kind of a first for the Alien franchise, almost a teen slasher kind of deal, because they're all yeah. younger. They're not teenagers. No, but they are. At least I don't they're think they're supposed younger. to be. They're definitely younger. At the so, very least, they look younger. You know, yeah, I don't know. That thing, could just right? be like, the, 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 how actors are these days. Right, like, who knows how old the, the cast of Alien was in 19th Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like, Especially if you go back and look, everybody looks so old. Right, and it's like, like, oh no, they were they were twenty nine. Yeah, it's, it's like, like that's just look. cigarettes and no yeah. sunblock. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, I because I, so in that sense, when you started meeting characters, it's almost like you could do like a teen slash, like oh, obviously that person's gonna die. Oh, that yeah. person. I hope that person dies. <laughs> like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, there there were some possibilities there, and the movie uh, took none of them. But uh, yeah, but I but I I liked the premise of the concept. You know, like. This is displaced kid. She's got a robot. The robots are only vestige uh, connection to the to her family. the The robot is like you know malfunctioning. That th- this is fun. This is all part of yeah. The it's story. all good. It's all good world. It's all good stuff. stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then they throw you a bunch of disposable characters. You know, I'm like, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah. you gotta have disposable characters. Is the you thing. do like like you know we you go back to the uh, well hold on let, let me do my oh, yeah let's, let's real quick and then we'll here. get into it. All right. So overall, I really enjoyed the movie. I would say, I don't think it lost me quite as quick as, not quick, because it is like a two, I think it's a little over two hours? Yeah, yeah, I'd say it's Give about, I think it's like about two hours, yeah. Is it about two hours? Okay, so I, I was I was pretty much on board for most of it. I would probably mm-hmm. say 80 to 90% of it. Yeah. Um, I would say, and I'm a huge Alien fan, I know you are as well, so I'm a huge Alien fan, I would say best Alien movie since Aliens. Yeah, that's, that is, that is, Accurate, yeah. I would say, I would say, I best say alien to my, since aliens. Yeah, I said it to the crew before uh, when they were like, "How'd you like it?" I'm like, "I think it's the third best aliens movie." And I would say, like, "Oh, that's that's high praise." And I'm like, "I mean, but they're all really bad." But that that's the problem. It's like you know, uh, right? You like know. Alien Three is like borderline unwatchable. Like it's 
It's super bad. Like I, I was actually talking to my friend who was just watching it. He was rewatching it the other day, and I rewatched it during COVID, and I was like, "Whoa!" Yeah. Like I thought, man, you know, I didn't like Alien Three a lot. I wonder if it holds up yeah, better yeah, yeah, now yeah. that I've like hasn't seen it in twenty years. And uh, no, but uh, <laughs> Alien Resurrection is like a joke. And then yeah. there's the count, and then there's the you know, yeah. and then there's the AVP. I I I I said this when AVP came out because I saw AVP in theaters. With, with of course, yeah, because we're every, I've seen suit. everyone. Yeah. Yet, to an, I, I I didn't see the first three, but every alien movie since I didn't, Direction. I didn't see the first four because oh. four came out in ninety no two thousand and what was it? it might have been like ninety nine. Now that I think about it, it was in the late nineties, early two thousand. Where like, I was just too young at that point. Like I was only like thirteen, fourteen. So right. you know, I saw. Oh them yeah, all no, on me DVD. too. Ninety seven. Yeah, yeah. Ninety seven. Okay. Yeah. I saw them all on DVD, and then e- AVP was actually the first one I saw in theaters. But uh, I the way I described that after we walked out of it. Uh, was uh, it was about fifteen minutes of glory yeah. wrapped up in about an hour and a half of shit. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I've always wanted to see that. I, I love the comics and the yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, collectible cards and the action figures. But uh, but the movie just was like, let's take none of those cool things and <laughs> just make this thing instead. Uh but let's we'll that can we'll, yeah we could do a whole alien. Thing. Yeah, we'll just do we'll, we'll, do, we'll, just, we'll just talk about aliens. Has husband yeah. ever seen aliens? This could be perfect. Anyway. Right? Uh, so Alien Romulus, uh, like I said, uh, overall, I would say I, I did enjoy it. Uh, yeah. I would say probably the best one since Aliens. That is my, that my, uh, is a fair point. My hot take, I guess. I don't think it's a really big hot take, probably. I think it's doing quite well. I know, I know there are people who have issues with it, such as yourself. Uh, but I think overall it is doing quite well in the yeah. theaters. So, uh, all right. So let's get into it. I thought it was the, the world building. I yes. think it's fantastic because we never really see that. No, it's really rare that we see a planet that isn't yeah. being colonized or in the process. They're terraformed because really yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you, you got Haley's Hope, but you don't see the rest of the pl- or the rest of the planet looks like a moon essentially. Oh, the, it, it's a moon. It's yeah, covered yeah. in fog. They're trying to obscure the budget, right? Yeah, for the whole thing, and it's like, I mean, you don't really want to see it because it's just an ugly place, right? But, yeah, but you imagine that's the case. Like, why would you? sleep in a pod for six to uh, to ten yeah. years to go mine yeah yeah if earth was nice yeah right exactly yeah, yeah. right so yeah we don't uh we don't we don't want to be here and they and they did a really great job of being like this is this is what life is like uh and, and, in, in the alien world and i thought it was interesting because if you go back to the first movie uh, they're, they're basically long-haul truckers yeah that's right truckers with, in space. yeah with truckers in space so and they talk about like, oh, when we get back, this amount of, that we're going to get so much for this, we'll be able to, you know, at least take. I, I forget what they say exactly, but you know, a few months off, yada yada. Oh yada, yeah, or we'll be able to retire, yada yada yada. Mm-hmm. But you don't get the sense, like in this movie, with like the indentured servitude. Oh like, god, yeah. She, yeah, you know, when she's trying to get off world, and she's like, "I did my hours, I don't." Which the guy we raised him is like, that yeah, is just... that how you is that how you get a job like you apply like let's imagine now right I go I work at Walmart and they're like listen right. you can't leave <laughs> until you do at least you know whatever it's years or something like well that. I don't know a thousand hours worth of work like you're not I... allowed to leave that's like actually, you're home in here that's yeah. it I've like, heard that there is like actually like some kind of not indentured servitude but certainly that like larger companies are are looking to keep employees mm. from quitting you know before like well, was, yeah like a contract like you sort of you know cuz I was in the army just like bang yeah. so it's like you did you did whatever I, I my first contract was 4 years you can't leave right for 4 4 years unless you like really screw up and they kick <laughs> out yeah, no, but you can't leave unless they ask you to. exactly Otherwise, yeah you know what i'm saying so it's like i signed a contract that i'm giving you guys 4 years of my life Yes, you know, so yeah, yeah, and that's that, but it's so in line with the first movie, at least, mm-hmm. where uh, you know, they're like, we gave the company this many years, we're going to be doing this, that, and the other thing. Like, you're you're dedicating your life to the company and doing this job that, for all rights, sucks. Sure, and, yeah, uh, yeah, and and like all these, hu- it's it's amazing to see the humans in this in these movies, particularly if if the director's paying attention, you know, mm. and, and it's not like AVP where it's like. Oh, so did nineteen ninety seven. Yeah, yeah. Who cares? But uh, the the yeah. humans are just there to get killed, so we don't right. really care, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're rooting for the aliens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, but I like the, the the nihilism of the of these worlds and how they're just like they're they're regular people. They are mm. people, but like they've been they've never known anything else. 
Right, yeah, yeah. Their souls know it sucks, which is why no one smiles in these movies. But it's also like, this is the world they live in. They're like, I'm just... This is just how it is. Yeah. It's how it is. And yeah. there's no better option. Like, the yeah. option is to get in line and finish it up. Like, just not complain. Hoping sucks in this world because it'll only make you more miserable based on the circumstances you're in. And that's like, this movie really does a good job of being like, that's the life. And it does it in like maybe two minutes. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's just, well, this is the life they're you in. You see like the camp and, you know, they have like all the little like uh uh it's it, it almost looks like a refugee camp kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, it does. Yeah, uh, even though it is technically supposed to be like where these workers live, right? You know, and you got like all the little the the food stands, oh, and the, yeah, the, the stripper bar, and, you know, yeah. the normal, yeah, yeah. And then the huge line of like you're waiting. How did she skip that line? I noticed that at the beginning. Yeah, I don't know. It's a really big line. It was she a big line. Right maybe they maybe we do a jump cut and then like maybe. she's been in the line. We just cut. She's been out. there for yeah, like for like yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. But she does have hope in the movie, though, because you're saying she does. like doesn't. She's talking about I want to go to, and I forget the name of the planet now. But it is a. Yeah, yeah. I know it's in the alien. You know, it's like a socialist mm-hmm. uh, planet and or system, and I can't remember the name of it now. But yeah, she's talking about I want to see the sun because this planet gets no sunlight and right. Yeah, yeah. So she does have hope. It just yeah. No, well, that's so because she's her. seen it. Like yeah, because yeah. she's been there. You know, she's like most people know only the planet they're on. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas she's seen the sun, and she's been, she's, she's lived a life that at least offers something else, and so she's probably the most miserable person on the planet because she's seen anything besides this. Um, pretty cool. I was like, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I didn't mind Rain. Uh, Kaylee Spaney plays Rain, and she does a nice job. She's the main character. I think, I think for what she had to do, I think she did a very yes. good job. I, I, you know, there was no point where I was like, eh, really? No, okay. no. There's, there's only a couple characters where I was like, oh, man, kind of hamming it up a little bit, <laughs> hamming it up a little bit, but also uh, incomprehensible. Like some yeah. of these folks, I understand. You know, yeah, you got to do. Uh, you, this is what you sound like. This is your accent. But some of them, I'm like. Are am I? Are you like Bane? Am I meant to not know how, like, what you're saying? And we don't get words. No, see, just me. I swear to God, I'm sitting in the theater going, "Man, I wish I had some subtitles right now." What right? The hell is that I guess that's saying? Right? Bjorn or Spike Fearn plays him. He's just this dude. He's just a jerk. The guy, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, 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 I got to bring like, the list. The cast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. Bjorn. Spike Bjorn. Bjorn. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even get the name. Like, some of these characters, I was like, yes, I know that, like, Rain, and I've heard Navarro so many times. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did like, say Aileen that. Wu does Navarro. She, by the way, odd choice. It's interesting in terms of the promotion of this movie. Navarro is a side character. She has yeah. her own motivations, her own she's motivations. She's pilot. Yeah, she's, so she's there. She's, she's doing she's stuff. She's the poster. Is she? Like, yeah. Her face, well, her head is the poster for and every promotional material. Oh yeah, okay, and it's like, right. well, and, I, and, and I, I guess I kind of know what's going to happen to Navarro. Oh well, yeah, well, and they and they showed it in all the trailers though too. Mm-hmm. They show the trailers. They with show the like the X-ray war. thing. Yeah, 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 which was really cool. Yeah, really cool effect. Um, yeah, agreed. Yeah, so it's like, I mean, realistically, I guess we could just, we just launch a square of this. Who cares? Yeah. Uh, she's the only one who gets face hugged. So realistically, yeah. you got to have her on. If you're doing a face hugger on the poster, I guess yes. you could just have a random person. It doesn't really yeah. matter, but. No, yeah, but it's, yeah. it's, it makes sense. And and she has like an interesting like proportion. Like No, it, it's. it Because she's got the shape of head. Yes, it's kinda, exactly. no, it's like a callback to like uh, Scorny Weaver and Aliens 3. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of callbacks in this movie. Lot thing of... is, and that's a lot of the criticism for this movie is yeah I have seen that yeah, yeah people are calling it like the Force Awakens of uh, of the Alien franchise kind of yeah I can see that yeah um, there is one I mean plot wise it's I mean it's they're on a space station there's an alien so I guess plot yeah. wise it is very similar to Alien One yeah they're, but I'll they're... take it like I'll take the idea because I saw a great breakdown. Where they were like, Alien 1, Truckers in Space. Aliens, uh, Marines in Space. Alien 3, like, uh, Convicts in Space. Alien 4, yeah. Pirates in Space. Alien Romulus is Thieves in Space. It's a heist movie. Yeah, like, essentially, yeah. Which I'm like, I am on board. Like, if you want to pitch me an alien movie, and you tell me, like, here's a group of hapless people who are living in shit, and they are going to, they're, 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 the heist is hope. 
I'm, yeah, I did. Mean, they're going to steal oh, their yeah. way off planet. That is yes. what they're doing. They're yeah, I'm stealing their way into a better life. Literally, and I love that the, the the cargo, like what they're going to steal, is pods to 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 give away six years of their life. Yeah, like just just we need something. That, uh, we we need refrigerators we can climb into. <laughs> like yeah, yeah, exactly what it is. Yeah, it's so, the the stakes are so like, or rather the. Uh, the the expectations for these people are so low. It's just like I just need to get into a tube and just go away. Need a refrigerator. <laughs> yeah, I'm like that's so sad and so neat. But I'm like, bored. to but me, that's like, that's what you want. Yeah, it's, it's, all I it's want. sort of like Predator is like badasses fight a more badass thing. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's all, all you need. It, but, uh, yeah, and then they yeah. start to bring in like, well, let's do more lore building and uh, like that, uh, uh, uh. which you can to a degree. Yes. Like this yeah. did with the world, you know, yeah. the world building. That's lore building for the universe. Well, it, you do it to a about, It's when you yeah. start going into like the Predator. Was it the Predator where they're like, well, maybe the, the Preds are extra sensory, blah, blah, like, blah, blah, blah. Oh, come yeah. on. Like, no. Nobody wants to know that. Yeah, like you don't need that. No, no. The, the pre- Predator, in, in terms of, this is a side tangent, but I will start. Yeah. I mean, my, my like ideal Predator scenario, Predator works when you have a script for an action movie that has no Predator in it. It's basically the Die Hard formula, because Die Hard, right. famously, uh, not the first movie and not the last movie, but most Die Hard movies are, it's a script for a movie that didn't work, but then and then they throw in John McClane. Oh, okay, now we got it. With Predator, it's it's an action movie that kind of doesn't work, but it has a beginning, middle, and end. It makes sense. It's like, you know, whatever. And then Act 2, Predator shows up and disrupts Act 3 into a Predator movie. Like, that's, because, I mean, Predator 1, you know, these... It's a rescue mission. So rescue, rescue mission in the, in the jungle. Yes. And the the idea was like, I think uh, there are gorillas that are bringing weapons that are, ar- that are like, oh, man, South American gorillas are being armed by Russia and yeah. they're bringing weapons over the border. Like that's a, that's an action movie. That's an Arnold movie. Yeah, that's all you and need. And then Predator shows up and it's even better. Yeah. With Predator 2, it's like there is a, a drug gang war going on in, uh, Los Angeles in the hottest day, of the in the hottest like, summer, summer movie. like on record. Or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, that's a movie. Yeah. Like that. That's and then you, got, you got your cops who are trying to say, and then there's an there's a predator, and then the right predator way. shows up. Yeah, yeah. Prey, perfect. You know, that's that's the same. You know, it's, it's, it's these these people, and they're trying to eke out their existence, and then these explorers come, and they're they're conquerors, and then the predator shows up. I'm like, yeah, you did it. Perfect. Uh, so that's what, yeah. So that's what this to me the 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 setup for this movie was so simple yet so good. It's like, all right, it's a heist movie. Yep. And uh, bad luck for them; they just happen to break into a space station that has that was, aliens. Yep. Yeah, that was studying aliens, and I'm like, yeah. I'm okay with that. I actually wasn't even that against them mining the Nostromo from Alien One. Mm-hmm. The, the original ship was called the Nostromo. Uh, Ripley blows it up and escapes. Them going back to the wreckage and basically just like seeing if they could find anything, and then getting the actual xenomorph and bringing it back. I was like, "Did it die?" Which apparently die or... just kind of cocooned itself in space, which makes sense to me. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think they need to breathe, but uh, sure, yeah, yeah. I, I'm okay with that idea, and I like the the concept of them. Like, I, I wasn't even really that against the idea of them going to the Nostromo, getting the alien, bringing it back, harnessing it, and being like, and, but but in thinking, finally, they're doing the thing because mm-hmm. for every single alien movie. Every single alien movie is the company wants the alien for weapons. Yep. And it's the, it's, it's, it was funny because me and my wife were watching, we watched Alien and Aliens to to prep for watching this movie. Yes. Yeah. And uh, basically that's what I told her. I was like, because she said They never learned. Radically. Yeah, I was like, literally every movie is <laughs> Waylon Yutani trying to weaponize the xenomorphs. Yeah. Every movie. Yes. There's a concept in this movie where- when they get on board of, uh, you know, the Romulus and Remus space station, because that's the idea is Romulus and Remus. There's two halves of the space station. Uh, is that um, they find the science. Oh, uh, when Andy, the android, mm. uh, uh, is trying to access things, they're like, oh, uh, it, it, it says on the, on the screen, like, science officer, like, contact science officer. Right, yeah, yeah. And I immediately was like, oh, my God. That... It's, that that actually is really cool. For a second, I went, "Wow!" So, Alien is not an isolated incident, right? Well, all the science officers in all their deep space missions were robots, right? Yeah, yeah. And they and all their missions were do whatever the company told them to do, unless you find the xenomorph, in a, which or a potential for alien life. 
Yes, because that yes. was always their thing, like in case there was possibly alien life. Oh there. yeah, no, they have protocols in place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, but I love the idea that like, oh no, all the science officers were actually androids, mm. and that they were like double agents for the company. Said, yeah, essentially, yeah. But then, but then it's like, oh no, they're literally the and the same guy. <laughs> like it's, this one, at least they gave him a different name. Yes, they're like, yeah. no, but there's it's no, it's the same model. It's the same actor, and I'm like, first of all, he's gone. Secondly, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. All right, well, hold on. Okay, let's yeah. before yeah. we get into what we don't like, let's start off yeah, with yeah. what we do like. What we do like, yeah, yeah. So I think aesthetically, this movie was great. Great. I think it felt. Like Alien and Aliens. Yes, which it is always been my big. Well, I have a lot of issues with like Prometheus and, and Alien Covenant. Same. Yeah. Um, but one of the big ones, especially for Prometheus, is like everything looks very shiny and new and there's holograms and there's all this stuff. I know. Like, and then what happened at 30 years we or 40 or whatever, about a year, it's like we lose all that? I don't understand. Yeah. I never understood why people don't just like, if you're making a sequel or a prequel, you got to stick with the aesthetic. You got to stick with the aesthetic. That's why Andor yeah. is like the most successful yeah. Star Wars prequel I've ever seen because it's basically just like, no, use low tech. It'll be cheaper, guys. You don't yeah. use all the CG. And this was the, only and 80, uh, 800 or 80 million. 80 I think thousand? it was like between 70 and 80 million dollars. Yeah. Hell yeah. It wasn't like crazy. Just, like, exactly how much an alien movie should cost. Yeah. No alien predator. Uh, needs to Terminator be two hundred million dollars. Yeah, 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 outrageous. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, like if you use lower tech, it'll it'll look better, it'll mm. fit better, and the audience won't care. The audience isn't gonna go, oh man, there's a three D. Like nobody has like a wrist mounted thing where they pull up a parade yeah, yeah. that they're talking to and they can three see. All. There's no there's no practical reason for me to even need to communicate with somebody who's three dimensional. Right, right. Uh, but so, yeah, yeah it, it, I I love that. I thought it aesthetically it felt like it. it was in the alien universe. Yes, it's, and that's what I want. Completely did. That's all I asked for. Yeah. That's why I was like, no, for the first hour, I'm in. From the world building to the the mechanics to the sound design mm. and even the characters, I was like, okay, I buy it. I buy it, and I'm in. So and, the uh, the characters, the acting, uh, I don't yeah. know his name. Andy, the android, was mm. yes, that fantastic. was David Johnson. David, he was, David. he was really good. I loved him. Yeah, yeah I, I would think great. he was probably one of the best parts of the movie. In my opinion, yeah, it's frustrating because for the for literally the last three Alien movies, it's all been about robots. Yeah, and all the and the robots are amazing. I mean, yeah. of course, we the last two we had Michael Fassbender as a robot who was just an amazing actor when he's not in an Assassin's Creed movie. But this, <laughs> uh, David Johnson, great job. I'm by the way, thank thank you for not putting David in these movies, folks. Like, to, to be honest, when I saw the science officer thing. <laughs> I thought it was going to be David. I oh. thought it was like, oh, they kept it under wraps, but it's going to be Michael Fassbender, right? That's you know, that another is... model of David who is right. Who I is think interested in seeing that? But also, I was very interested. I had, I had kind of heard through the grapevine that these were going to be like not connected. That like Ridley right. Scott was more well, like there in name old. They, they, they've got some parts where it, that's where it kind of loses me. Um, yeah. And not even like crazy, but it, it to me it was like because Ridley Scott is a producer, so I yep. was like he was probably like uh, put it oh yeah put in there. oh you could feel it yeah like act, yeah. by the end of Act Two Ridley Scott like showed him went oh what the hell is this I did two movies about this shit <laughs> whoa 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 we're not going to use the black goo <laughs> uh it really doesn't fit into the aesthetic this is really more of a smaller independent like it's uh, more about this story well make it about the black goo <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The- Fine, and then uh, fine, fine, <laughs> yeah, and, 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 when, and that's when the movie completely loses me. Yeah, yeah. they're so like, I mean, it kind of was starting to lose me when we had Ghost Ian Holmes face. Like, so yeah. okay, so the Ian Holmes of it all. Mm-hmm. I looked up some stuff on this. I didn't know. Oh, I didn't realize he was in the movie until I saw the movie. I didn't know either. Yeah. I didn't either. I was I, I, I was seeing it on it. And I yeah. saw it on Saturday, so it had been out a couple of days. So you think it yeah, yeah. I've seen it. Someone yeah, on okay. in the internet about it. <laughs> um didn't know he was in the movie. The idea to have the science officer be Ash or Rook as he's called in the movie. Yes. Uh I think was an interesting idea. I first when they when I you, you saw the android corpse on the ground like by the hole. Yes. I was like, oh, "Okay, so they're going to like it's like, oh, could it be Ash? You know, it's like, oh, okay, kind of looks like him. He's wearing basically the same clothing. So it's yeah. like, okay, that's kind of a nod back because we'd already had a couple of nods 
right previous films anyway so it's like okay it's not that cool yeah, yeah. callback or whatever um but yeah then they full-on like <laughs> yeah like it's, for a second it's I, it's it's, yeah, but, I don't think it looks terrible at times. Yes, there's sometimes like, especially when he's on a few screen. Like, oh yeah, well, he, that was the best way to do it. Yeah, because then you had like the the CCTV lines and exactly like, you could hide some of the the honestly the, the, the I, There was a moment I had so much faith in this movie based on how like well orchestrated it was up mm-hmm. to that point. When they put the when they put the Rook model on the dashboard, and he's silhouetted in profile, I thought. Holy shit! Yeah, that, they, that was how they're gonna do it too. Like that, gonna... and and I was like, they had to do a 3D cast, like a plaster cast of his face, to make the model that they burned in Alien. Mm. So I thought they were going; it was going to be that version where it was like, oh, I see. I he's all like it. messed up, and he's yeah. Like, so he's all already like, like it. he's all because they closed it up head, and then you know he was all he was in milk everywhere. So yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and so sometimes like between, you know, when he was talking, obviously it was Ian Holman, the alien, but in between those two shots, like when they set him up and when they burn it, it's a, it's a, it's a puppet. It's a puppet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought for a minute, I'm like, Oh, that'll be really cool. Like it'll be broken. Mm-hmm. And it'll just like say things like through a, like a broken voice modulator or something. And then yeah, they're actually, like, no, 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 no. We're going to, we're going to Tron legacy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're doing space. Space. yeah, yeah. So I looked it up. So apparently that was CGI over a, a puppet is how okay. they did. That. Okay, that's and the voice right. was was uh, I forget the voice actor. They used a voice actor who basically did like a impression of Ian Holm. Yeah, through like because his voice was kind of messed up because he was, yeah yeah yeah, which is yeah. Uh, again a great way to do it. Yeah, yeah, I also will say I have a thing about voices. It was really spot on. Like, I thought it was, it was quite good. I, I, I would assume they probably, because I was like, well, there's probably like AI or maybe they used mm-hmm. some old, you know, voice tracks from the movie or something like that. But no, apparently it was a voice actor. Doing yeah, it. that's really and cool. And I know, I know there's a lot of like, uh, there's a lot of like uh, diverse controversy about controversy that, over yeah. using like the deep fakes and the, the, the bringing back dead actors and things like that. Uh-huh. Um, apparently they did get permission from the estate of Ian Holm. His I heard family was cool with it. Yep. So for what it was, I think they did a decent enough job with it for what mm-hmm. they did. And, you know, if his family's okay with it, yeah, who am I to get upset about it? You know what exactly. I'm saying? Exactly, exactly. Um, I mean, the, the people, to the right people to be upset signed Would on, be the so. family or, or something like that. So yeah, I'm not going to say like, oh, I 100% agree or disagree. I think it, it's a case-by-case basis, honestly. I agree. Yeah, I was just kind of like, my question was, does he need to be there? That's the me. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't. The, you could have the if you took out the ash of it or yes. the in home, yeah, and just used a different robot. If you used if you used David, uh, you could have used well or just just a fun actor, just, just a, fun, a fun actor, somebody. Yeah, you did. It didn't have to be Ash, but it didn't need to be Ash. Kind of what they were doing with the movie. I guess it makes sense. But yeah, yes, you, you could have taken him out, and it wouldn't have been an issue. Exactly. Like I get it, and and I uh, but and you know I think um, it's funny because if you think about aliens, this is just us being nerds about aliens. But like, sure, here I'm with it. When they're talking to, Bishop, oh, I'm cool with doing that the whole time. But exactly. Yeah. I'll like talk when, about when, aliens, when they're talking term. to Bishop, <laughs> right? Yeah. No, we'll just do that. That'll be the new show. We just talk about those three movies. It's AVPT, and that's the show. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, right. That's your movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, no! I, there is a comic book that is know, the yeah. Alien vs. Predator vs. Terminator, and it might be the worst thing I've ever seen. Is it? Oh, that's sad. It's an act. It's a direct sequel to Alien Resurrection. So oh, that it stars okay. Winona Ryder's yeah. robot, and I'm like, mm. yeah, no, it's past. Yes, it's real bad. Uh, but um, I uh, have no idea what I was going to say. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got to get no, it. No, that's right. But uh, yeah. Oh well. Um, okay. Moving on. Uh, moving uh, on. So but, other things I liked about the movie. Uh, overall, I think the alien was done quite well. They used a practical alien for most of it. Most of it. Down. Uh, there was a couple of there was a couple of CGI moments which I thought looked a little uh, okay ish. I think it's funny. Like you and I are deaf. We're still do- we're we are do- definitely talking about acts one and part of two. Yes. Because because I think there's a part where the movie turns and I'm like, I I'm just like I don't. Not that I don't care, but I'm just sure. disappointed in everybody. Okay. And it's it's just but for for the most part, when the Xenomorph finally shows up, it's awesome. When the face huggers are there, that's really fun. The face hugger swarm was really cool. 
Because yes. even in Aliens, we only get two face huggers. At a I time. think we get two. With, yeah, in the scene when they're like uh, trapped in the two. med bay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the swarm when they're running through the door what? and the the swarm. Oh, I was like, that's cool. Like it was that's great. what you want out of a new Alien movie, dude. For a second, based on how much face hugger merch and promotion mm-hmm. was being used. I thought the whole movie was going to be about just face huggers, and then eventually, like right near the end, like the final act is like the yeah, final yeah, act, xenomorph. Like yeah, I yeah, really yeah. thought it was that, only going to yeah. be face huggers, and it was like, let's just show you how dangerous and scary the face huggers can be. Um, it, I don't think it absolutely terrible. When they're going through the water, like oh my god, yeah, everything about it, every use of them was a smart move. Yep. Um, Alvarez knew how to make an alien movie. I feel bad for him because I think I don't think they made the whole movie he wanted to make, mm. but. But when when his, although you know, it's funny he uh, you know as he was he made the, the the Evil Dead movies and people were like those are the goriest scariest things I've ever seen hmm. for the most part pretty tame until like one sequence and even then I don't think it was nearly as gross or scary as mm. as the as its complement from Prometheus. Sure, yeah, yeah. To uh, me, yeah, I would say. The grossest aspect is probably where you get the full on. You see the face hugger trying to, oh, yeah, get in there. Well, because you don't. I don't think we've ever seen that. I could we've, be wrong. We the seen, movies. Yeah, we. I don't think we've seen it that but we've, graphically. No, it's we've never seen it actually forcibly attempt. Yeah, to you always just see it attach, and then yeah, and uh, and then uh, that's all she wrote, and then you're just supposed to imagine at that point. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was like, oh, yeah. oh, I'm like, I'm in the theater, like, oh, and I'm not normally a squeamish guy, but no. I'm like, no, I don't like that. And it fits <laughs> in with the thim- with the themes, with the visual themes of Alien, where, where it is a, it is kind of like a phallic. Uh, oh yeah, hundred percent movie that is about assault and 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 I'm like, not that I'm like, yay, that's great, I love those movies. It's more like just I'm like, it's consistent with the themes. It's, yes, that exactly. Yeah, yeah. forth from Ridley and and Giger and stuff, and I'm like, yeah, cool. You're like I mean, not yay. cool, but like yeah, yeah. But you're like yay. It fits with your themes, not exactly yay. And what is actually happening? <laughs> like, like you understand that there that the alien exists because it is saying something about like hmm. human aggression and sexuality, as opposed to like Paul W. Anderson making AVP being like, I think the Xenomorphs are the coolest. Yeah, 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 I mean, in Alien Resurrection, uh, they roar. You know, it's just yeah. No, you made them into monsters. Yeah, they, yeah, 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 think that they're like Freddy. You know, and it's like no, they're there's something science fiction and like real science fiction about the Xenomorphs. Right? Yeah, it's not it's not just uh, a slasher flick. No. Yeah. There. Yeah. Yeah. There are actual like themes behind it and stuff like that. Yeah. 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 Um. So yeah, the the fa- and then the practical face hugger stuff when they were like trying to go through the corridor, though that was yeah. really cool. Why yeah. that guy stopped and took a phone call was a terrible. So idea. dumb. So dumb. I would say most, and, and that's been one of my issues with like Prometheus and Covenant is like the decisions the character makes are really dumb. Yeah, and, yeah, they and need overall, to be dumb. yeah, exactly. They need to be dumb for the movie to happen. And yes. overall, I would say that it was not the case in this movie, except for mm-hmm. moments like that. Yeah. It's like, why would you, why would you to, to talk to her when you get through the hallway? Don't exactly. You're looking at like an extra couple of minutes, maybe. Yeah, yeah though. I know. No, it's funny because you think about like aliens. There are dumb characters, but even the dumb ones, they don't die because they're dumb. Hmm. You know, like Hudson, perfect example of like a character you would assume is just an idiot. Something stupid, and then right. going to die because of it. But no, he just died. Like he's just he's and he dies horribly. It's just he's just just he's just dragged into into nothingness by a bunch of aliens. But like, no one in Alien One or Two. No single character in either of those two movies, in the most beloved movies in the franchise, are as dumb as most of the characters in the last three movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and and it, but it, and that for me is about filmmaking, and it's about like character. I, I, yeah, it's, it's it tells me that they're more focused on what's happening mm. in the movie as opposed to building a movie that right. stands alone and is about something. Uh, because like you know, the fun subversion in Alien. Is that you think Picket Fences is going to be the lead? Mm. I, I call him Picket Fences because the dad from Picket Fences. No, no, I got, I am with you. I know. It's, uh, that, I mean, once you mention it that after a certain uh, age demographic, that's like, true. Yeah, you're. Right, I don't know right. what that is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, but he is so great, and he's such a fun actor, and he was already well known, and so it's like it makes sense that he's the lead, and he and he takes charge. He's the captain, but then boom, you know, there's a moment it's where Sigourney like Sigourney Weaver. It's Sigourney Weaver. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this movie. 
these movies don't do. They're like, here's no. the lead, and then yeah. that's the lead for the whole movie. Yeah, yeah. Which, which in this movie, I think she did a good job with it. I, uh, you know, for what it was, you know, I buy her motivation. Her motivations, I, are, I buy her are just the decisions she made for yep. doing stuff. Uh, yep. You know, in, in in even a given moment, I think yes. she did a good job with it. Um, yeah, I agree. No, I liked her. I like. Uh, I, I then, mean, again, then we had the characters like that were definitely supposed to die because, and you knew they were definitely supposed created to die. to die. And there's yeah. no, and I, I, I actually wouldn't be surprised if, because I mean, I think the idea with the with the script for Alien is like we didn't say what gender anyone was, and then we yeah, I remember them. hearing that. Yeah, uh, with this, I, I guarantee you, they did the same thing. Where, and when I say guarantee, I just mean like it. It seems like it's the kind of movie where it really doesn't matter what sex anyone is, yeah, except for really. K, who is pregnant. Like, right. that's, yeah, yeah. But outside of that, you really, it really doesn't matter who anybody is, and so as a result, you can cast to just the character, um, which makes sense. Yeah, yeah, which would have been cool, you know. But uh, all right, you know, it's it's <laughs> again, it's it's it, it the, the movie again. I I hate to harp on the fact that like it looks great and it's almost awesome. Yeah, yeah but yeah. Uh, but that's I mean again. You know, there's a movie in here. There's a real, right. like, actual heist movie slash alien movie in here that I really would have wanted. And I enjoyed for the first hour and a half or so. <laughs> okay, so let's launch into it, Sal. Where do they lose yeah. you? Why don't they, why, what, when did they, yeah, when did they lose yeah, you? Yeah, Prometheus. Right. It was when they were like, yeah, oh, yeah. this is the actual purpose of the science room. Like, because, I mean, all they needed to do was just say, this was a space station where they were, this is where they chose to do their, reverse engineering of the z oh, this is where the action is happening and it's like okay cool um that's fine no they were like when we got in there they, we found out there's like a primordial soup within the xenomorph and blah 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 blah. and then we made the black goo and i'm and like they actually even like discovered you know like dna memory that made the black goo into the old stone canisters from prometheus I, okay that was so stupid that, i don't know the see, difference see okay i can i could buy that was also kind of where i was like I don't think so. Yeah. Because uh, I can buy, obviously, Wayland Yutani is trying to weaponize the Xenomorphs. Yeah. That's their, that's their goal in every movie, every comic book. Yeah. Uh, even the current Marvel run of comics, which has been okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. At, best. Okay. Um, at best. You're right. You're right. Every arc is Wayland Yutani is trying to weaponize the Xenomorphs. Yep, it never goes well. You think eventually somebody, <laughs> some CEO would be like, listen, we're wasting a lot of money. <laughs> wasting a lot of money or killing a lot of people. Uh, yeah, again, a lot of people are dying. You think we should stop. Anyway, so, <laughs> it's, so okay, I get it. So the second they find the Xenomorph, which is apparently yeah. the, fir- the one from the first movie, which was cocooned. Okay, mm-hmm. I got that. That's cool. It got on the space station and killed everybody. Sure. Yep. Yep. You figure they're going to try to reverse engineer the DNA or they're going to try to pull something from it. Absolutely. I'm with you. Yes. And yes. then in the little hollow display, it it forms the stone cylinders that you saw in Prometheus and then in Covenant. And yeah. it's like, why would they why would you have one? How do they suddenly have a hollow display? Yeah, right. That also came out of nowhere. Oh, and that's right. You know what I'm saying? Like suddenly yeah. they had like a hologram thing, which wasn't a thing anywhere else in the movie, oh. and never showed up again. No. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, they had this little stone cylinder. If you had just showed me the big canister of the black goo, yes, and they were like, "Yeah, with this is the DNA we pulled out of it," and you could even say it was some sort of primordial thing. That's that all we need, and then we know. We- like you could even go like it seemed engineered, even if you wanted to say engineered. Yeah. So you can yes. have the engineers right kind of that, in there. Yeah, yeah. I'd be down with the second they were like, and look, this stone cylinder that you yeah. saw in those previous two movies by Ridley Scott. I was like, ah, oh, come on. I know. Like, like then, you could have go gone there. all the way up to it. Yeah, right. And, and I would have gotten cool. it. And I think exactly, of it would have gotten it. It would have been fine. Because the but, point of them doing it at all is just so that we know it's connected to Prometheus. And it's exactly. like, I, I, I do understand. Like, yes. I know that yeah. already. Even though those and movies even, don't really work for, like, like a variety detailing. Of, well, yeah, variety of these. But, like, actually detailing the origins of the Xenomorph. No! It doesn't work. It doesn't fall in line. And I don't even hate those movies. There are yeah. aspects of those movies I do enjoy, but they don't work in that sense. I'm sorry. No, exactly. I hear you. As an alien yeah, yes. As an alien fan, I'm like, I'm not interested in this movie being about Jesus suddenly. So yeah. <laughs> th- this, so they they do that. Jesus was a xenomorph. Z- Jesus was an engineer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, and uh, anyway, so then they like, <laughs> yeah, look it up, folks. But uh, then at, uh, Rook is all into it, and he's like, "Yeah, I, you know, we because need this stuff. We need this stuff. We have this goop. Uh, oh, because the le- because the lesson we learned is that humanity wasn't meant for space travel. We're built poorly. We've made this thing." We injected it into rats. We didn't pay attention to it afterwards. Yeah, and apparently. <laughs> I'm like, why would, I'm like, there, there's there's so much about this that sucks. I, I don't even know where to start, where it's like, Whale Utani doesn't pe- care about people. Right. Why would Whale Utani give, like, special, you know, juice to their workers mm. to make them more powerful? Like, why, like, why wouldn't they, why, why would they do that? When all they care about is weapons. Also, who are they fighting now that I'm thinking about it? What do they, that they need weapons. That is against. Weapons. Well, I, actually, uh, 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 I do know that. So, Waylon Yutani is part of... I forget. I forget the name of it. There's, there's, I've recently gotten to the Aliens RPG. So, there's a whole oh, thing great. about backstory. Waylon <laughs> um, uh, Yutani is a part of, essentially, the United States... The, the 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 united colonies right? right so it's like it's like the united states kind of thing it's all corporations yes. and yada 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 capitalism uh-huh. evil yeah <laughs> yeah uh they are technically at war with the socialist systems uh. that's technically who the 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 colonial marines are supposed to be fighting interesting okay yeah, technically speaking i don't i think it's a cold war at this point it's it's right. by the time of the alien franchise i believe it's technically a cold war don't quote me. I've only recently gotten to the aliens. <laughs> well, and it makes sense. Oh, like, there okay, is. so we we just get a we just get a, uh, an egg and we drop that on a social Sh- planet. Exactly. Yeah. Kind of day. yeah, yeah. So I think it's almost like a WMD kind of deal. Totally. That's cool. Which, That's... Even though when they, you know, the first movies first came out. They weren't thinking that. They weren't like, thinking that. But I think that's kind of where it has the the the, the franchise is kind of that lines up with uh, with with everything I know to be about aliens. So I'm right. fine with that. So uh, yeah, so that kind of works. Um, yeah, but they're making these like you know, oh, we made this thing, we got to send it for study, and it's been up here for how many years? And you know, it's just like the, the getting a MacGuffin of here are these ba- black goo canisters. Also, them telling uh, Rain to inject. Uh, the other girl into the pregnant girl into uh, with it and being like, just do it. Just try it out. Uh, <laughs> well, but to be fair, Ray made this smart decision of, of not doing that. Do that. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, uh, I, I need to give it its flowers. Also the idea of using the science officers, like data disc, mm. putting it into Andy and having Andy change his protocols. I saw it from a mile away and I was there for it every step of the way. I was like, Yes. He did such a Pretty. good job with the flip, though. Oh, like, yeah, he yeah. Was suddenly British. Uh, I, oh, no. I know. I loved it. I was, he like, didn't have the little ticks anymore. No, like, no. Yeah. I, I, was, I was so on board for that. Yeah, I was like, was what good. a smart idea. I love the concept. Yeah. It changed its protocols. It, it, like, I was, again, we don't need Ian Holm. We don't need that. We just, like, it could have been a ruined robot. And then we have, like, Ian Holm or, you know, the, the Hyperdyne model of mm. that, of that uh, science officer, like, in here. I, I'm all on board for that idea. And I, it was really, really fun. And it also gave them a reason to actually listen to Andy because, yes. because if you're just if it's some random science officer or you know it's a Whalen Yutani robot and you're like, yeah. well, why would we listen to this guy? Obviously, <laughs> he's sinister as hell. But it's right. like, well, Andy's still Andy, so why would we not listen to him? Like, yes, it's well, her because, brother, you know. Right. So because that's the thing. Like that's the lesson. The lesson of it is like there are like we we are humans we are capable of changing our minds or having like a vested interest in the preservation of humanity robots look like people but right. aren't they still they, follow protocols they still so, follow protocols so it's yeah. like it'd be great to make andy into kind of like an antagonist mm. and they're like no but andy that's not who you are and it's like yo i'm a robot I just do what this I, little thing says <laughs> i do what the thing says you plugged it in you should know better and it's like yeah. that's what's that's what makes us human is we're kind of stupid or like that yeah uh we anthropomorphize things like we were like i saved the raccoon why did it bite me and it's yeah. like because it's the raccoon man <laughs> like it, it, that's that's that that, that, that concept is like i saved the xenomorph why did it bite me right like it's yeah yeah it's like and we do that all the time and yeah. that, that'd be really cool to see but anyway uh yeah so that great that aspect i was like i'm so on board you're, that's <laughs> awesome but the whole uh the, the black goo and the, the the human making people better but only for 
mining capabilities. I'm like, this is dumb. The, the only other thought I can have about that, and that's this is just me, like I guess playing devil's advocate or making up an excuse or something like that, is Whalen Yutani could be going off of a control thing because if they yeah. know the xenomorphs are based off of a hive mind, right? Maybe the idea is like, well, we'll just make it so we can tell everybody what to do. Y- yeah, I you know, mean, maybe. And I'm not saying they don't say that in the movie. I do agree with you on this one, Sal. I'm right. saying maybe that could be the mindset of the yeah. writer slash Waylon Yutani. Right. Or if they explored it in any way. Where, well, that's like, the thing. If, if, if They should have talked about why, other than making humans stronger, why yeah. does Waylon Yutani want to do that? Unless yeah. unless we're just supposed to make a leap of like, well, if we make humans stronger, they can mine better, the bottom yeah. dollar, they make more money. But like, really? That's yeah. the name. Yeah. After all of that, they're like, no, you know what? It turns out uh, I, we they finally get the alien after all of that. And they're like, actually, you know what? We're not going to make it a weapon. We're going to make it into like a thing that makes we're going to make it into steroids. That's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's kind of lame. Also, I would have been OK with the idea of them being like, oh, no, we'll control them through like the hive mind or something. And it's just another aspect of them thinking they can control the xenomorph in some way. So that, yeah, so that's, that's why thematically that would have made sense, but they didn't yeah. say that in the movie. So I didn't say that. So Apparently yeah, I need to write an aliens movie. I think that'd be fine. Uh, <laughs> better than what we get. But then uh, you know, know, then know. Kay injects herself, and like the second she was pregnant, you, I was like, when she reveals something was going to happen. Yeah, I was like, either she's going to get face hugged, yep, and it's going to be horrible, yep. And then once they introduce that black girl, I'm like, oh no. Oh, yeah. flashbacks of Alien Resurrection were in my head, and I yeah. knew they were going to do it, and they did it, and I was like, ah! Oh. And, you know, obviously, when the hybrid comes out, it's a it's an engineer. Yeah. Slash. Yeah. Uh, which, why? Why was it an because engineer? Because of the black goo. Because no, no. I, no, no. I, I, I get well, the black goo, but why seen... did it by... Because the, the, the engineer seeded yeah. humanity, so like, there's an element of the engineer in us, and so it was like... I, I was just like... You know what people aren't here for? That shit. Yeah. Like, no one is here. We're here to see aliens. We're not here to see new, innovative, yeah. weirdo That's concepts. That's where the, the, the expanding on the lore. Yeah. That's where you start to lose me. Completely. I'm yeah. like, just do an alien. Because that's the thing. is every I, I hear it all the time, and I'm so frustrated because I hear it every time I complain about, like, another entry in a franchise that, like, I love. Yeah. And I go, like, man, they, they screwed it up. Like... And people go, man, you know, you, you, you don't like anything. And also, look, you have to admit it's new. And they're trying something. And I was like, how about they try making one movie for me? Like, and when I say for me, I mean, just do it right once. You know, like, just do an alien movie without doing some weird thing right, right. one time. Like, I, I just, I, all I'm asking for is, like, That's one weird thing. Right, I don't do anything weird. Like the Predator, right? The Predator movie, that the Predator. I was like, okay, great. I'm excited. Shane Black is involved. Awesome. And then it's like, it's not a Predator movie. It's something else. It's just, and, and it's not, and you know, well, based off the back, other the, the 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 behind the scenes stuff from that movie, that was oh. there was a lot of issues with that. Movie. Yeah, that movie was a mess before. Yeah, I don't, I don't even think I can't even blame Shane Black, unfortunately. No, yeah, right, right. Yeah, but like, I, was, no, I blame was everyone. So that's, yeah, yeah. Uh, but like. But but prey is proof. Like you can just do the thing. But even just then, do the, but just do it really different. well, right? But even then, they're like, "But we gotta make the predator look different." Well, yeah, yeah. And it's like, well, it's like, why? And they're like, because because I'm doing it, and I want to be able to well, because yeah, yeah. because when we made the Batman movie, we get, we we took the iconic Batman logo and gave it an extra little. Whoo. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That way, you know, I did it. And it's like, Damn. dude, get away. Like it's just it's an old Guillermo del Toro quote, which is in Hollywood everybody's got to stick their dick in it. <laughs> and I, by the way, how's it? I apologize for the for the for the graphic nature of it, but it's a quote from it's a quote. Del you can't take it out. <laughs> I know, but I'm like, but, and it, but it's like, and it, and it's it's gross and it's phallic and it's yeah, inappropriate. Yeah, yeah. But like that's right. It's it is. It's an affront. Like yeah, you yeah. got it. Like oh cool. Here's a here's a heist movie with aliens in it. I'm in. And like and also, <laughs> eh. And I'm like, yeah. And of course, Alien makes the most sense to use that metaphor because, like, that's what they're literally, right. yeah, yeah, it's what it is. Uh, yeah, oh. but like, but the Prometheus Alien hybrid thing, and then yeah. obviously we do, we just we have to end it the same way: blow it up the airlock, and kill it, and then oh, that's, and that's how you have to end an Alien movie. Yes, I'm it's pretty sure. The yes, uh, it, and it's still. By the way, people think that that like that birthing sequence was really gross and graphic and horrible, and I was like, yeah, you know, like I was surprised because I was like. 
I was expecting uh, something more horrific. And honestly, stands, it was pretty gross, but it I'm was like, pretty hey. gross. I would almost say the uh, vagina cocoon. Yes. Chrysoris thing. Yes. Uh, on the ship. So right. On their ship, their hauler that they find. Uh, yeah. That was quite disgusting. That um, was. Yeah. And that yeah, was like, probably what? the most vagina looking thing out of any alien movie I've ever seen, which is He's saying like- something. It is saying something because they're yeah. George O'Keefe was like a set designer on those movies. Yeah, uh, but no, it was it was uh, that there's was a lot disgusting. Yeah, it was yeah. it was it was very great. You know, and they were like, seen that in any of the movies? I don't usually. It's like the the chestburster gets away. Yep, and then you find like remains of something that's eaten so that it can start to grow. Uh huh. But I don't think we ever see it. Like it's like cocoon or chrysalis or whatever you want to call it. Yep. Seen a xenomorph come out of anything? Yeah, I was gonna say usually it's like the chest person gets away, and then a little bit later you see the xenomorph. Like yeah. it's already yeah, you find you find the like the mini xenomorphs like skin someplace. Yeah, yeah, yeah something like that. Like in three, yeah. I think they found the skin shedded and things like that. They find it in uh, in so blood actually, too. Yeah, like they find it everywhere. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So I actually I thought that was actually a that was actually a good like your bridge a bridge okay of the lore. Yeah, yeah, which we've never seen before, or maybe we've seen it in the comics. I'm not. I don't remember all my alien comics. So no. there's a lot. Um, yeah, and then we discover, uh, uh, I guess we're kind of going back and forth on what we don't yeah. did like and didn't like. I would say the, the CGI on the, the hybrid, sometimes it was good. Sometimes it was a little... Yeah. But I mean, what else are you going to do with it? Like, it looked better than, well, because I mean, they did the same thing in Alien 4 where it was yeah. a hybrid. It was uh, a hybrid. And it like has like weird questionable motivations and yeah, and that one dies more horrifically. Like, yeah, Ripley does, blows a hole in that thing. little hole. Yeah, it gets shredded. It's just yeah, like pieces of it just get yeah. sucked out of the airlock. I'm like, that's gross. Yeah, yeah, that was bad. Yeah, um, but yeah, but yeah, that was the same thing. We had to. You know, apparently, we always have to end on a, an alien going out of the airlock. Um, of course. When they go below the ship, though, and they discovered that there are more aliens. Which, yeah. where were they the rest of the time? Um, right. But they've created like a little hive at the end or at the bottom of the ship yeah. or the space station and stuff. I thought that was pretty good. That was mostly where you saw the actual xenomorph. I think that was where you pretty much saw them the most. Yes. Um, yeah. And I think they were all looked pretty good and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, um, the, yeah. Yeah. And I liked the like proto pulse, but not proto, but like, yeah, the, the, the like the early model rival. pulse rival. I actually thought it was really cool as a, as a, uh, a firearm aficionado i guess yes i'm not a yeah, yeah, yeah. by any stretch of the imagination no i love i love firearms. firearms yeah, yeah, yeah. firearms uh, well, i thought that was like really cool like that. yeah i thought it was a fun like the 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 shoulder pad auto targeting i thought that was fun and a yep. good way because you know they were going to make the argument of how does this little girl shoot how does this girl know how to shoot yeah, yeah. A gun shoots for you. <laughs> uh, I thought that was a fun way to be like, we're just going to stave off that argument. The, the gun shoots for you. It's yeah. It's designed to be idiot proof. Yes, I love that. Uh, I thought smart. that was, that was smart. Uh, that was, and I think it was a really cool design for like an early model pulse rifle. Uh, I forget what model number they said it was, but it was like a yes. blah, 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 pulse rifle. Please. This is what the Colonial Marines use. Exactly. I and like, this, yeah, is like, this is like... 30, 40 years before Alien. So, yeah, obviously they wouldn't have the same rifle, although the U.S. has been using the same model of rifles forever. That's true. But I, I, which is fine. And that's why there's, like, some consistency and it makes the same sense. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I thought that was really cool. Uh, yeah, I thought I, I did, agree. like, a lot of the callbacks, like, where he's shoot, showing her how to use it. It's very much a Higgs and, uh, Hicks and Ripley scene. Yeah. Uh, that's what they that, – that's the – and that's where – the whole movie is that. Where it's, it is. It is a lot of whether climbing through the pipes, it's the same view as when Bishop is climbing through the pipe. When Andy uh saves uh Rain from the oh. aliens and he says, Get away from her. And then there's a like a long there's pause. There's a long pause. And I'm like, he won't say it, right? Because that would be really hacky. And then he says yeah. it and I'm like You that was there's probably you don't even know why you would say that. Like that's why would the you say thing. That? That was probably the one time because a lot of the a lot of the moments I'm like, oh, that was yeah, that's a callback. Oh, that's fun. All right, I'll yeah. just do the thing. All right, and then when he does the get away from her, yeah, you bitch. I was like, no, that one I didn't like. I didn't like that one. I don't think no. it didn't have the gravitas of of Ripley saying it. Oh, nope. with that yes. moment where she comes stomping out with a power loader, it didn't like. Please and he's a, he was a really good actor, fantastic in the movie. I don't yep. feel like that worked. Yeah, I feel like no. that was one you probably should have cut. 
No, it's completely unearned. If he had just, just said, get away from her, and yeah. then just stopped, and everyone was like, is he going to say you, bitch? Like, I think that would have been better. But it's the it fact that better. he said it, yeah. Yeah, it would have been better, but at the same time, for me, I'm like, don't do it at all. Like, yeah. don't do that. Yeah, you didn't need That's to. Your moment. You don't yeah. get that moment. Yeah, you're like, that, that was a Ripley moment. That was a, you know, two mothers fighting yes. kind of thing. You didn't yeah, need like, Andy to say it. Because if I'm supposed to watch these movies, like, in any kind of order... Right, because I'm going to watch Alien, Alien, Romulus, and then Alien. Right, technically, yeah, yeah. That's... It's going to be, it's going to be weird, and because then I, it's it... like for people who don't know, then it's like, why is Ripley saying that thing? Why that is Andy said robot said? The... Yeah, that doesn't make any sense, right? Like, no, that's 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 really dumb. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, uh, and, and I know they're not thinking about it because they're like, we're thinking about the audience we have right now. Exactly, just... and I mean that's that's just how it is. Okay, uh, then don't know. do that. Yeah, because I, the yeah. audience, the, the audience that watches it, that gets the reference is going to go. Oh, shut up. Like, they're, they're not going to like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, exactly. That's the thing. If is, is, Yeah. Well, I mean, there's probably somebody out there who does like it. But I would say the vast majority of people or fans are going to be like, eh, why, why, why? why? And that's, why? that's how I am. I'm like, why? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, the zero-G fight, I thought was a lot of fun. It was a neat idea. And I would not have her, like, going, going through, like, the acid. Because, yeah. like, that's a pretty good idea of... How not to let the acid to the floor, and they set it up in the beginning of the movie with exactly. the zero G, which is why I'm like, there's there's a movie in here, yes, like there, yeah, it, yeah. like there's a movie, there's a version of this movie without the Prometheus stuff. I promise you that. I it would like. say if you took out the actual, if you took out, if or even if you just went right up to the Prometheus stuff, if you're like, yeah, it looks like this stuff was engineered, right? Or you know, obviously, don't say it as corny as I'm saying it right now, but. You know, if you go just to the edge of that, yes, exactly. I think this movie would have been fantastic. Like, yeah. I probably would be ninety nine percent on board. It's yeah. yeah, it's 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 when they started really going into that, and then the hybrid engineer thing. Yeah, eh, yeah I understand why they did it. I wasn't fully on board. No, the design I mean, you know what? It's terrible. Obviously, I mean, so you have to do it. Resurrection design, in my opinion. I don't know because the resurrection design—it's mostly just a puppet, which I appreciated. Yeah, it's like the resurrection puppet—I hated both. I hate both of them so much. Yeah, that's but the thing. I'm not going to compare yeah. two terrible ideas that are basically the same idea. Sure. The the resurrection puppet is like really gross. Like it's right. Yeah, you know, this one is like, weak. but yeah. this one is all CGI. Is the thing. That's so true. it's like, and, but it, but and it makes sense thematically in this version because it's yeah. like, oh, it's the engineer plus the xenomorph plus humanity. Blah blah blah. I don't know. It was weird. Yeah, was just, yeah. Weird. I probably, I probably wouldn't have had. I always feel like you, sh- they should have stopped it a little early and just had the two of them get off the sh- off the the station. Almost yeah. like I almost just because Hollywood loves doing this now is subvert expectations. Right. Where you're like, oh, what they didn't they didn't blow an alien out of those right? Yeah. How you can't end an alien movie like that? No. Then, yeah. then if you want to do the injection thing, you have well, what's growing inside of her stomach now? Yeah. Yeah. And she's in a cryopod, and they're on their way to this new system. Right. There's the your next movie. movie. They want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. And then, yeah, the next movie, they just is like, oh, yeah, she died in the cryopod, and now they're on a prison planet. Because, yep. Screw it. Because that's what Alien 3 yeah. is. <laughs> Alien 3 does. Uh, well, and Alien 3 is actually more messed up than any of the movies, where it's like, here there's like five scripts, and no one likes Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 original, like, the original script they turned into a comic was actually pretty good. I read it. It's pretty boring, but better. Like it's, it's better than the yeah than the it's, is, but, yeah. it's a it's a coherent story, but it is yeah. it's just characters running around in a space station. Like I'm like oh yeah, no, that's like actually what this movie is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But there, but the less action. It's more that boring. Is that is a good point. <laughs> uh, all right. So where uh, I guess I guess we're kind of drawn to a close at this point. We pretty much talked what we liked, and didn't like. Yeah. Overall, I would say. Overall, I would say I enjoyed the movie. I thought it was yeah. I thought it was the third uh, the best alien movie since Aliens. Uh, oh, you're right. I would say they only kind of lose me with the Prometheus stuff, and only because they really dip into it. Yeah. If, if they had gone right up to the edge of that stuff, I would have been completely on board with it. I would have been fine with it. Sal, you you, you like half the movie. <laughs> yeah, I like I like less than half of the movie. But, uh, <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, but I I uh, I liked it well enough. But once it gets to to the point of not just even the Prometheus stuff, but like the the hybrid and. And the fact that, like, the, then, it, then it starts to become glaring. Like, I'm like, oh, you're really shining a light on the fact these characters don't really have personalities, mm-hmm. or at the very least, mm-hmm. they're they're not they're not dynamic enough to 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 make me remember their names. Sure, yeah, yeah. You know? And uh, and that really hurts. And then and then you start thinking about the references, and you're like, 
uh, you know, when they first open it with, with the Nostromo, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And like the science officer being like, oh, they're all doing that. That's neat. But then it's like, it's Ash and also the pulse rifle and also get away from her. And also, you know, the we're, we're, we're all moshing alien resurrection with the hybrid and also Prometheus and also, and I'm like, oh my God, there's too many, re- like, oh my God, this whole movie is references. Like it, it, it makes it, it, it hurts the whole thing. When I, when I would when it, say that schlocky, <laughs> I will say though, hypothetically, because yeah. it's not the references. Yes, th- they do get a little much. Although I did mostly like them. Uh, yeah, they don't. They don't do like the almost like the uh, uh, like the Spider Man movie where it's like when when Tobey Maguire comes up and everybody pauses because you know yeah. it's that that's where the audience is going to cheer and things like that. That's rough. So everybody kind of pauses. They don't really do that. So hypothetically, if you had never seen alien or aliens or anything like yeah. that I, I i don't feel like the references would be as glaring to you because no. you don't know them right right you know you but might think oh, it's weird that andy kind of paused there why did he pause <laughs> to say you bitch like, yeah but other than that or like when he's explained the pulse rifle to her yeah there's not like a weird like a weird pause there the sound effect you would be like oh that's a really cool sound effect but you might yeah, not be like no, why is gonna... it gonna yeah you know what i'm saying yeah no, I don't. I totally get you. It's not so. Uh, I, it's I feel itself, as but it's fans, not that's more glaring. Yeah, us. Yeah, hopefully, if you're watching, it doesn't like it doesn't disrupt your experience between those three movies. But at yeah. the same time, like but, but, I mean, you can only give a review from your perspective. I can't tell you. No, you know, I can't give a review as a someone who has never seen the aliens. But I mean, I've that's seen right. Alien. I don't know how that would feel, but yeah, probably not as much as I've seen the original Star Wars trilogy, but probably up there in terms yeah, of definitely. how many times I've watched them. So same. Uh, yeah, but yeah, we're gonna notice them a little bit more. Yeah, They're exactly. gonna seem a lot more glaring to us because we're so familiar with it. Yeah. yeah. Now, okay, so that's that's our kind of take the takes yeah. on it. Sal, where do you think they're gonna go next? Oh my god! Do you think they're gonna? Is this gonna do? Are they gonna have well, they're making that show this, that I, which I didn't even know was a thing. Which I don't know. Is that to be honest with you. Alien Earth or something like that? And how apparently, do you do that? is there gonna be aliens on her? What's I don't know. I don't know. It's set before Prometheus. And the that doesn't make I, any sense. <laughs> no, it doesn't because the shouldn't be the called person, alien. <laughs> well, apparently the person who's making it hates Prometheus. So I'm like, hot dog! I'm look, I'm watching your show. Uh, so he's like, I don't want to make any references to that to that to that crap. Yeah, but it's weird to call it Alien Earth because yeah. if it's set before Prometheus, we don't have aliens. There's no there's no xenomorphs. We won't no, see. They're, they're they're doing the same thing that like these movies do, where they're like, oh no, Prometheus didn't happen. This yeah, alien well. Movie. Where oh, yeah. I only I only care about alien and aliens. Yeah, yeah. I think well, yep. we should do. Uh, it did, I, I don't know. I I read the alien novels back in the nineties and two thousand. Oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> oh, was it Earth War? Yeah, yeah I think. War. Yeah, was Earth War the first one? I forget. I don't think it was. I, or Hive World was the last one where the aliens actually set up, like basically terraform Earth. Oh, um, that's awesome. Yeah. So like, if they had done something like that, but yeah. I, I doubt they'll do that. Um, right. but yeah, I feel like. You could do a sequel to this movie if you wanted to. Yeah. Um, hypothetically. Easily. Easily. Very easily. Yeah. I mean, but, but, uh, I mean, just as much as they did. I mean, because it ends essentially the same way Alien and Aliens ended. Yes. Which is a woman in a cryopod flying through space. Yep. Uh, yep. Or she could land on a planet. We, they could do the war. Yeah. You know, they could actually do the Whaley nutani socialist planet war, which yeah. is neat. Um, I don't think they're going to do that. I, I honestly think that, like, since the movie did well, you'll probably just get a sequel. Because, I mean, like, with Prey, Prey, there's no sequel to Predator. No. You know, it's just, they're just individual movies that are in the same universe. The Predator is the only sequel, really, and it sucks. Realistically. And it's the one that kind of tries to draw in all of the other movies. Yes. Into one cohesive thing, which right? didn't really work. But, uh, but because Well, I guess Prey... Predators did, too. Predators mentions the first one. Predators does reference the first one, and I think doesn't touch on the second one at all. I don't think it does. I like, and, I like Predators. I was going to say, I like Predators, honestly. I think most I like of Predators the Predators too. are actually pretty solid movies other than The Predator. No, it's true. No, I, I, comparatively, yeah. Alien has more duds than Predator. It does. Like, yeah, shockingly. Uh, as long as we all don't count AVP and AGR. But, uh, yeah, but... Um, God, those movies are not good. They're not good. No, they're... But with Prey, Prey did well enough where they're doing a sequel to Prey. And I was like, well, you don't need to do a sequel to Prey. Just do another just Predator movie. Do another time frame. Right, just said another time. And they're like, no, no, no. Prey too, and I'm like, yeah, see, I see. Oh, you give me samurai, yeah. Predator, 
I'll take Old West Predator. Old you West know, Predator fighting cool. Vikings. Gunslingers. Vikings. Vikings yes. would be a solid one. Just the Northman with a Predator, and it would have made that movie. Would have been. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. But yeah. I did like the Northman. But uh, <laughs> in any case, uh, based on the, the fact that that's what they're doing with Prey, I assume that if Romulus is doing well, they'll just... Which it seems to be. The, the yeah. opening weekend was quite good. Yeah, yeah. So I assume we'll see Rain again. Yeah. And it'll just be about her. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, realistically, yeah, that is what's probably going to happen. If this movie does well enough, they'll probably just do a sequel with her. Yeah. Maybe either either you you do more in between because you still got like 30, 40 years in between. Oh, yeah. Ends. Yeah, exactly. Um, so you could do something like that or... You know, hypothetically, they could do something after Aliens and just yes. erase three and four. And what. oh yeah, no, they could set it like she could be like Ripley, lost, and they find her later. It's been a hundred five years. They could do something like that because I know Neil Blumkamp, Blumkamp, however Blumkamp, you pronounce his yeah. name. Yeah, he was yeah. talking about doing an Aliens movie with Weaver coming back. He was going to do an Alien sequel with with Weaver and Bean. It was going to yeah. be yeah Hicks, Newton, Ripley, and. uh I was so on board for that, and it got like up to like I, there's some there's some art out there. For I saw it. content I for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, me too. I was so hyped, and then they were like, "Nah." I'm like, "No, oh. Prometheus." Yeah, what a mistake. Yeah. So, but hypothetically, you could do a version of that where same thing. She she drifts past the system. Something went wrong. Who knows? Yeah. And you could do a alternate Alien Three. Obviously, you called something else, but alternate yeah. Alien with her and Andy. Maybe take yeah. a version of because she's kind of got the same. Now she's fought an alien, just <laughs> like we did. So you can kind of, you know, you could do, yeah. do some stuff with that. Could work. There's, 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 there's a lot of fertile ground that you could still mine uh, with Alien and with this particular movie, and uh, you know, because you don't have to worry about any of the baggage. Well, that's the thing; you don't have to worry about yeah all that other stuff. So, all right. So yeah, I, I think there's a future here. I don't know if I'm excited about it, but I. Uh, I'm always excited. Even even when the crappy movies come out, I, I still get excited. I saw Covenant. I was like... Because there's oh. always a chance. And then, like this one. I overall enjoyed this yeah. one. So yeah, yeah. There's always a chance, man. I liked a lot more of this than I did the last two. Yeah. So And, so. and I will admit that Prometheus is gorgeous looking. It's a well shot, beautiful looking... It's, yeah. Yeah. And you're not even Covenant. Like, Covenant's got some moments yes. that are pretty good, except the, the problem is the overall movie is not very good. Whereas like, I don't mind, I would say this one's got some moments that aren't so great. Yeah, but overall, I like the movie. So yeah, I agree with that. That's fair. I like this movie more than the other ones, though. Yeah, uh, more than the last four: Covenant, Prometheus, Resurrection, and then three. Yeah, <laughs> more than the last four. <laughs> but anyway, uh, there you have it, folks. We talked about Alien Romulus for a while. Uh, yeah. If you want to let us know what your favorite Alien movie is in the comments, please do. And uh, you know, if you want to see more reviews like these. Check out this episode and make sure, uh, you know, you let us know what you want us to review next. Should we make Hussin watch all of the Alien, Predator, Terminator? Oh, my God. I'm going to throw in RoboCop. And, and RoboCop. RoboCop. Should we make Hussin watch all of those? That we all talk? I mean, yeah, you had me up until RoboCop uh, because, yeah. Have you seen? Um, well, you know, let's 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 save it for another time. We'll RoboCop, save it for another time. Old thing. There's two RoboCop shows we can watch. Oh, I forgot. About Three. The There's a cartoon show. There's the... RoboCop live action show, and then there's like a sequel show that uh, I saw a minute of and went, nope. Yeah, yeah, it's not a good idea. Anyway, all right, everybody. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys later. Y'all have a good day. Bye now. Take care.